Hi, today's question comes from Paul. He's 43 years old and his father has been suffering from prostate issues for many years. He wants to A, know what his father can do and then B, what can he do preventatively to reduce his risk of getting prostate problems. So his father suffers from something called BPH benign prostatic hyperplasia, and that's a swelling of the prostate gland. A lot of guys, once they hit their 40s and 50s, start getting this BPH, and it's incredibly frustrating and annoying in their life. So I'm gonna give him my four-step protocol, not only helping his father, but it's an amazing preventative program to help him not get BPH and have a healthy prostate gland for the rest of his life, all right? Here are the four steps. Number one, knock out certain foods. So these are the foods I knock out. Food is incredibly important when you're dealing with inflammation and the prostate gland. So number one, take out dairy, take out meats that aren't from grass-fed sources. Number three, make sure that you're to eating grains that are sprouted. So if you're gonna have a gluten grain, Make sure that it's coming from a sprouted source. So if you're having wheat, rye, or barley, and you're gonna have a bread, go for Ezekiel bread. Those are sprouted grains. If you're gonna have a pasta, stay away from the semolina pasta, which has been processed, and go more with a quinoa pasta or a brown rice pasta. So those are some food choices to stay away from. Also, of course, excess salt, excess sugar, refined carbohydrates, anything refined and processed, throw out. Now, number two, make sure you start including good foods. So fruits and vegetables, make sure you're including lots of good essential fats like walnuts, ground flaxseed, wild salmon, avocados, coconut oil. Make sure you're using lots of seeds and nuts especially pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds and pumpkin seed oil has been shown to be incredibly useful and helpful to reduce BPH and support prostate function. And then also make sure you're just staying nice and hydrated. Drink plenty of water to help reduce any dehydration, which also could have a negative impact on your prostate gland. Now, the third thing, once you've taken out the bad foods and included the good foods, you want to reduce something called DHT. DHT stands for dihydroxytestosterone. So this is what happens. As men get older, there's an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, and that converts the testosterone, the good testosterone that men want, into something called DHT. DHT is very negative in the body. It's very inflammatory. It has a negative impact on the prostate gland. And the, be and the better the prostate health, the less the DHT. So there's a few things that I recommend to lower that DHT. Number one, saw palmetto. Number two, pygium. And number three, DIM, which stands for diindole methane. Now, Diendol methane, or DIM, comes from cruciferous vegetables. So uh, cabbage, broccoli sprout, uh, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli sprouts, cauliflower, bok choy, those are all cruciferous vegetables that are super for the prostate gland because it has a lot of DIM. You could also get a supplement of DIM. That you want to stay around 100 milligrams per day. Now, if you're going to have cruciferous vegetables, I tell this to everybody, make sure you at least steam them or it, it, always you want to cook them because that decreases the goitrogens, which could have a negative impact on the thyroid gland. So you don't want to help one gland, the prostate, and then hurt the thyroid. So those three things, sal palmetto, pygium, and DIM radically reduce the DHT and that supports prostate function. The number four thing that has been shown to be great for prostate health is exercise. I mean, when you read about exercise and what it does for the body, you'll start seeing that exercise is amazing for so many things, and this is, of course, not uh, excluded. Exercise has been great for prostate health. And actually, I'm gonna give another a fifth thing. The fifth thing I love 
to reduce inflammation in the body and BPH is an inflammatory condition and you want to get that inflammation down are two things that I do for all inflammatory conditions. Turmeric extract. Turmeric is amazing at reducing inflammation in a natural way. And of course, I use something that not a lot of people have heard about, shalajit. Now, shalajit is also called mumio. It's a natural compound that comes from the Himalayan mountains. It's rich of fulvic acid, which is amazing for the body. Actually, it's been shown to help increase testosterone in men and reduce inflammation and support prostate health. So that's a two for one for guys out there suffering from BPH and wanting to support their prostate. Mumio is amazing for those guys. So that's actually five steps that I would do to start implementing to support your prostate gland and to help you if you're right now suffering from BPH. I hope that helps Paul and anyone else who has any questions about prostate health. If you have any questions, feel free to post. Have an amazing day.